What's it like being black in the Philippines? The Philippines here, I get more of like this, almost like a family vibe. You need to get outside of your bubble. Hey, tell me what experiences talking to women in the Philippines. Women still want you to be like financially stable. I'm curious, what is the biggest change since 1979 and now? Hi, what's your name? Hey, what's up? I'm Andy. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas. What brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh, I first came out here because I'd worked with some people online. Mm -hmm. I'm a nomad and so after wandering around Europe for a couple of years, I decided to come out here to Asia and the Philippines was the second stop after Thailand. Okay, what's the difference between Thailand and the Philippines? Tell uh, me some I, major differences. Yeah, man, I'd say that uh, Philippines here, I get more of like this, almost like a family vibe yeah. if you think of the, the culture. Mm -hmm. When I go to Thailand, there it's going to be I don't know how to describe it. So, man, no thing. Uh, so, with Thailand, I'd say it's gonna be more about like, you know, the food, mm -hmm. the parties. Um, can't really speak for dating in Thailand, but yeah. I know here in the Philippines, it's been uh, super, again, super friendly, super warm, super yeah. inviting kind of. Uh, okay, so vibe. tell me a little bit more about dating. What's the difference dating in Filipina compared to women in the U.S.? You know, the whole sure, passport sure. bros movement and all that. So yeah, you know, the passport bros was kind of a newer thing. I've been yeah. wandering around the world since 2019, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess where I grew up in Dallas was was, was pretty racist, and yeah. so I I'd, I'd <laughs> experienced some pretty messy things. Um, I'd say Asia's. It got a lot more racism towards each other, not okay. so much towards black people though. I see. Um, so if you see like there's weird things between like Japanese, Koreans, yeah. Chinese, it's confusing for yeah, us. Yeah. But um, as far as being black out here, no, nah, we're treated good. Um, good. Doesn't make any real difference. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's something where it's just very exotic. People are into it out here. Nice. How long do you plan to stay here? Yeah, I mean, I've been here on and off about three years now, mm -hmm. and I'm probably going to do another year. I just use this as my hub when I'm traveling. Yeah. Philippines has got a super chill uh, visa situation yeah. for Americans. For sure. And yeah, next journey is, uh, I'm not really sure yet, actually. Yeah, so but... you, how do you finance yourself? You said you work online, though, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I originally started off in uh, digital marketing, so like mm -hmm. doing Facebook ads and websites and stuff. Yeah. And these last few years, I've done Web3. So right now, I do sales yeah. at a software company. You but worried? there's plenty of opportunities online. I was going to ask if you're worried about the whole AI movement, you know, digital. Sure, sure. Yeah, okay. yeah I think it's going to change things. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fortunate that I work on the AI side of things, I guess, yeah. intentionally. Mm -hmm. um, but, but I do think, you know, especially out here, here in IT Park, probably 80% yeah. of these jobs, they won't. Yeah, they're not going to exist two to exist, three years yeah, from now. Right? So I think ten percent of people will get to you know either keep what they're doing or get re uh, you know, doing different work. Yeah, but yeah, it's going to be a strange time for sure. Yeah, a lot of positive things, a lot of good things. Obviously, keep coming back here. Any dislikes that could be improved, maybe? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think one of the things when you come to the Philippines in general is uh, you got to have a lot of patience. You know, yeah. things. It's kind of like being on island time. And mm -hmm. if you ever been to like Hawaii or something. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace, everybody from Lahaina. At some point, but it's yeah. it's something where like it's, it's a different pace out here. Okay. So as an American, a lot of times we'll kind of expect a certain speed or yeah. like a level of I guess uh, thought going into yeah. different things. While out here, you know, a, a phrase I keep hearing from a YouTuber is uh, <laughs> just let it be. Let it be or somebody, somebody, whatever, whatever it is. Say, yeah. right? It's a whole different thing. Something frustrating or strange, just let it yeah. be. It's all right. There's something yeah. to enjoy. For sure, man. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, sure thing, Alex. Good meeting you. You as well. Thanks, man. Hi, what's your name? Otis. Uh, where are you from? Virginia. How old are you? I'm 52 years old. 52? My yeah. man, you're looking nice and young. <laughs> what's your secret? Uh, just uh, eat right, stay healthy, <laughs> and uh, you know, make sure you get the proper rest. And how long have you been here in the Philippines? Been here about a week. What brings you down here? On uh, vacation, just do okay. a little recon, trying to figure out, you know, whether I want to actually move here permanently and okay. uh, live, or do I want to live elsewhere? Is this your first time here? Yes, it is. Uh, but what were your first impressions of the Philippines? Uh, first impression of the Philippines, uh, very uh, modern. Um, I noticed there's a lot of building going on. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, nice uh, dress. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of police, a lot mm -hmm. of security. Yeah. Um, uh, they're very, very uh, welcoming. Mm -hmm. uh, everywhere I go. So for sure. It's been pretty good. Okay, and what are some dislikes so far? Something that could be improved or better for your experience? Uh, just traffic. Uh, yeah. Traffic is uh, real heavy around that, Jeff Lock, you yeah. know, rush hour. Um, okay. There is a lot of right away mm -hmm. motorcycles. Yeah. Um, that takes a little bit to get used to. Crossing the street, you know, is a little, little bit of a challenge, yeah. um, you know, because cars have right away, not pedestrians. Okay. So, yeah. uh, you know, but other than that, I mean, it's, um, also some of the conveniences as far as 
uh, stores. Uh, stores could be, you know, really available in you know, like the states, but of course that's... Yeah. yeah. You mentioned security. Do you feel safe here? Are there any danger? How do you feel about I feel safety? very safe. Yeah. Very safe. Never, never had an issue. Uh, security is everywhere. Uh, they're locked and loaded. Yesterday, I noticed a guy getting money out of the cash machine. He was had a shotgun on him, you yes. know, ready to go. So, armored truck. Yeah. So, uh, they, they really make security here a high priority. How long do you plan to stay in the Philippines? I'll be here for another couple of days and uh, then I'll be going back to the U.S. Okay. What are your impressions about retiring here? Do you think you're going to come back? To oh, most definitely. I okay. uh, definitely will be back. And what about your relationship status? Are you married? Are you single? What's I'm going single. on there? Have you dated anyone in the Philippines? Uh, not at this time. Have you talked to any woman here? Yes. Okay, tell me what differences or your experiences talking to women in the Philippines. Very feminine. Mm -hmm. Very feminine. Uh, they actually, uh, you know, give you the opportunity to uh, express yourself. Yeah. Uh, they don't have any ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no game playing. Uh, yeah. They're straightforward. Okay. Uh, awesome. And lastly, have you experienced any racism? What's it like being black in the Philippines? Uh, being, being black in the Philippines is, uh, I guess, um, is no different from anywhere else in the, in the, yeah. uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's how you carry yourself, character. Uh, a lot of people give you respect. Yeah. Um, people will speak to you. Uh, I just went to a small market yesterday yeah. uh, with a friend of mine, and uh, she noticed uh, that everywhere we went, the people were giving her discounts because she was with me. Okay. So I think they have a, a high respect for foreigners, mm -hmm. uh, and also for people that basically show them the same respect. So. Awesome, man. Yep, yep. That's great. I wish you all the best. I hope you retire happily here in the Philippines. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Yep. Hi, what's your name? My name is Ricky. Uh, where are you from? Texas, Dallas, Texas. And what brings you down here to the Philippines? Relaxation. Okay. How long have you been here? This time, I've been here for about two weeks. So when was your first time to the Philippines? 1979. 1979? My goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, I'm curious. What is the biggest change since 1979 and now? Well, the biggest is the modernization, I would, I would assume. The culture is pretty much the same, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, the modernization is uh, it's becoming more and more on par with what I'm used to living. Yeah. Okay. And are you married? Are you in a relationship? No. Um, no I'm not married. I'm not in a relationship at, at this moment. Okay. Have you dated any Filipinas here? Yes. Okay. Tell me about the difference of dating here in the Philippines compared to the U.S. Well, uh, certainly less drama yeah. in in, uh, in the in the relationships, you know, and uh, and as he said before, they are always feminine. Yeah, and I can I can appreciate that. So that allows your masculinity to be unchallenged. Yeah, and so that's that's confident. That's great. And so you keep coming back here. Obviously, you must like this place. What are some of the things you like the most about the Philippines? Believe it or not. One of the, my primary reasons for coming back here is the camaraderie ship that I have between my black brothers when I when I mm -hmm. see my black brothers here. It's it's like we've been transformed to a new planet. With yeah. A new, with a new, we can get to reset our, our values and our relationships with each other. Yeah. And you know, because true love is is love between brothers and, and and sisters between sisters. And so we get to reestablish that here. And Got it. It's, it's it's an amazing uh, experience. Speaking of brothers, what's it like being black in the Philippines? Well, being black in the Philippines, the, in all countries that I've visited, and I've visited a lot of countries that, that are non-black, and it's always the, these factors. You have the population, and within that population, you have those who favor white people. Yep. You have those who favor black people, and you have the general population, and so you have those dynamics here as well as anywhere. It's just a matter of what percentage of Filipinos like white, and there's a lot, and there's a percentage, there's a decent percentage that like black, and then there's the general population that you know will give either side a fair shake based on who you are. So, yeah. So you you have to judge Filipinos on a case-by-case -case basis, you know, because it's going to depend on, on you and, and, and their preferences. Yeah, that's well said. Actually, that's the best way of putting it because I myself, obviously, I'm not Caucasian and I've visited many countries and I do notice that difference. And I hear in, in the Philippines, I think 
it's a lot closer. That gap doesn't exist as widely as some other countries. Yes. Okay. Now, do you see yourself retiring in the Philippines here? I see myself as partially retiring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I got a passport, and that mm -hmm. passport is going to get used. I'm, <laughs> I'm going places. Okay, that's great. Any favorite islands, if favorite places that you visited so far in the Philippines? Well, I've been to uh, I've been to Manila, I've been to Iloilo, I've been to Tagum City, I've been to Davao, I've been to Zamboanga, I've been to uh, Cagayan de Oro, I've been to Bacal, Bohol, I mean, I've yeah. been to Panglao, I've been to um, I've been a few other places, and uh, I keep coming back to Cebu, but I do like uh, Cagayan. Okay. And so, uh, but you know, there's more than 7,000 islands here. And I, from what I understand, there's, there's different cultures on every island. Yeah. So, you know, so they say you should bounce around till you find something that suits you personally. So, mm -hmm. but I like Cebu because I, there's a lot of brothers here that I get to to, to fellowship with. You know? yeah. So and I, I, I do appreciate that a lot. That's, that's important for me. For sure. And lastly, what's your advice to someone that's kind of like, on the fence about coming to the Philippines or never been here, what would you tell them? Take the plunge, Take, man, because you, know, you, you know, you can you can always stay home. Yeah. But, you know, if you want some, if you need to be reinvigorated in life, mm -hmm. if you need to, you need to get outside of your bubble and experience something new. I mean, and you know, whatever you spend on the ticket is going to be worth it. Got it. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Hi, what's your name? Angelo. But where are you from? I'm from uh, California. What brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh, vacation, checking it out, nice. seeing a young lady. <laughs> cool. How long have you been here? Uh, about a week and a half. And what are your experiences so far in a week? What do you like? What don't you like? What's it been like? Um, it's been cool. Like I like that everything is super cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, it's a little challenging only getting used to like the accent, mm -hmm. um, trying to understand the accent. It is better than a lot of other countries because the main language is still, uh, well, the second language is uh, English. So yeah. it's it's not too bad. Now you're here for a special lady. Did you guys meet online? Yeah, we met online. It's not, uh, we're not together. Okay. We're just talking. But uh, to answer your other question, like the thing that I don't like is all the insects. Like okay. uh, even in my hotel. <laughs> yeah, you can't get away from it, right? No matter how clean you are, it's just a tropical nature, right? You're gonna get yeah. some roaches or something coming out, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. How long will you stay here? Uh, maybe about a month and a half. Is this your first time to the Philippines? Yes, yes. And I'm thinking about making it like my permanent residence mm -hmm. if I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what do you do back home? Do you work online? You can simply work down here or? Uh, no, I'm a social worker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I but see. so, uh, because I work for the government, it wouldn't exactly translate yeah, to here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'd have to find something new. Some here. kind of way of, you know. Yeah. Uh, what about dating? So what's dating like in the Philippines compared to the U.S.? Uh, I want to say it's kind of like the same where like women still want you to be like financially stable yeah they want sh they prefer dude with a lot of money hypergamy mm -hmm. but the thing is is that out here you can have like a little bit of money and yeah. still be considered like you know rich yeah as opposed to in the states women want you to make like half a million it's getting know, pretty ridiculous like, these days I, right <laughs> i need to play in, in in the nba to accomplish that. yeah i know right we're all living in a fantasy world right i think yeah, exactly. uh, yeah well thank you for sharing that what about any discrimination have you felt anyone looking at you in like weird way or um yeah i mean i've, I've gotten some looks uh but i think it's somewhat natural i don't mm -hmm. take it as offensive because um i think i've i'm like the only uh, minority that I've seen out here other yeah. than you of course uh, but <clears throat> normally if I do see a foreigner mm -hmm. they're normally Caucasian yeah so it, it makes sense that I'd get some stairs sure. stairs yeah. isn't a bad thing definitely yeah. especially over here I think people are very curious to see where people are coming from yeah what they're doing here and whatever else all right man thank you so much for your time I appreciate it now yeah no problem Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the answer. Does something surprise you? Anything you want to share? If you take your time to write it, I take your time to respond. Now, for me personally, it's very naive to say no countries without 
you know, racism, of course, exists everywhere. But from my personal experience in the Philippines, that really isn't an issue. People here are very welcoming, open-minded, and receptive. And I think it has a lot to do with Filipino people being very, very open-minded and just culturally, they're very welcoming. So I don't think race is as much of an issue here as in some other countries, perhaps. I've also experienced racism myself in different countries, but not really so much at all, actually, here in the Philippines. Now, your story could be different, your experience could be different, but generally speaking, overall, it's not an issue. You know, sometimes I get emails or comments of people asking, oh, uh, do Filipinos like black guys or or something like that along the lines of that kind of question. Of course, I say they do. And here, I've seen a lot of brothers with very attractive Filipinas, just like any other race. I don't think it's an issue here as much as it might be in different countries. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it with someone that might also enjoy it, and consider becoming a member of the channel. Check out details in the description where you can see what kind of perks you get. A lot more exclusive content like one-on-one -on -one video call myself, my personal WhatsApp number, members only live streams and videos, bloopers and status updates. A lot more if you're a member of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.